how to build a Teespring store. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a new Teespring storefront. So we will cover the steps of adding your banner, logo, products, and more. It is important to know that Teespring has now changed its name to a spring. They often make updates to their platform. So this tutorial is up to date and will show you how to build your Teespring store using the latest instructions. Okay, so we will cover the steps to add various elements to your Teespring store, including the logo, banner, products, and social links. So to start our process, just go to uh, teespring.com. So here, as you can see on their name, they will now be known as uh, just Spring. Okay, so here, once you are on the side, just look for Start Creating button. So if you are new to Teespring, just go ahead and create your account. And if you already have an account, just simply log into that. So after logging in, you'll be directed to your Teespring dashboard. Okay, now let's focus on this menu on the left side and let's click on the Stores tab. So this will take you to the Teespring store editor where you can either create a new store or edit an existing one. So to begin, let's just add your store name. Click on this area and just type uh, the name you wish to use for your store. So let me just say my store for now. So as you enter the name, you'll notice that your storefront uh, preview will automatically update with the new store name. Okay, next here, I can choose the image that I wanna for my uh, store logo. So since I don't have a logo now, I will skip this step. And if you do, you'll see that your store name is now replaced with your logo. Okay, then here I can click to enable uh, social links to be shown on my store. So I'll show you later in this video how to add uh, links to your social media page. So, okay, so if you want, you can also change the background color of your navbar and the menu items. So just pick the colors that match your brand and make sure your logo and menu items are easy to use. Okay, so after adding your logo and selecting your colors, just remember to save your change by clicking save button at the bottom right. And you can also preview how your modifications uh, will appear on the desktop and the mobile devices by just using these icons uh, at the top. Okay, so now let's just take a look at the menu and uh, click on the hero banner tab. So this is where you can add uh, or edit your store banner. So first, let's explore the advanced tab here. Okay, so instead of just using an image for your banner, the advanced options will allow you to customize it further. So you can add a title, subtitle, uh, body text, custom background image, and even a custom button that directs your customers to a specific link. Okay, so if we just click the add link button here, this box will pop up here where we can enter a web address or a category to direct your customers. So after selecting the link or the category, let's just click the add button here. And also we can choose the background color, text color, button background color, and the button text color. So just remember to pick colors that match your brand. And so if you are creating a new store and don't need a button yet, you can just start by creating and uploading a custom banner without adding a web link to it. Okay, so if we go back to the default tab or the basic tab, we can choose to upload a custom uh, banner with the dimensions of um, 1650 by 600 pixels. Okay, so to create a banner and a logo, you can use a tool called Canva Pro. So with this tool, you can make your logo with a transparent background and access lots of uh, free templates and images for your banner. So Canva Pro is not only uh, great for logos and banners, but also for creating amazing designs for your um, t-shirt and other products. Okay, so if you want to upload your new banner, just click on the select image button here and then find and open the banner you made in the Canva Pro. Now you should see your new banner image in the desktop and the mobile preview sections on the right side. So once you are finished, click the save button at the bottom. 
Okay, now let's just go back to the sections menu by just clicking on the top left corner. And next, we need to add our products to the storefront. But first, you have to create some products by going to create a products button. Okay, now once you have some products ready to add to your store, just click on the products tab here. So here you can see all the products you have added to your store if you have multiple products. Okay, so to add products to your store, just click on the add products button. This will open up a menu where you can uh, see all the designs and products you have created in your Teespring account. So just take your time to go through the products and select the ones you have created specifically for this store. But in my case, I only have one product, which is this one. So um, I'll select that. Okay, now after selecting all your products, just click on the add button here and then next you'll see the products you selected. So if you want certain products to stand out, you can mark them as featured by just um, clicking this star. So featured products will be shown first on your storefront. So once you're finished adding products and selecting featured ones, just click the save button here Okay, so now we can preview all the products you have added in your store and see how they look. So here you can see this as the featured products I selected at the top. If I have multiple products and along with other products if I added to uh, my store. So now let's click on the tab to edit our store footer. So in the footer section, you can choose to display social links, add some text about your store and change the color for the footer background and text. So in the text box provided, we can uh, simply write a description of our store, products and our brand. Okay, so we can also talk about our target customers, how we create our designs or anything else interesting we want to share. So if we scroll down to the bottom of our store preview, we will see our store footer and the text we just added. So in the footer color section, we can change the background color and the text color. Just choose the colors that match your brand and are easy to read. So here, if you want to show our social links in the footer, just select the display links option. So once we are done setting up our footer, just remember to click save at the bottom right. Okay, so now we have finished up uh, all the main sections for our Teespring storefront. However, there are still a few more things that we uh, need to do so. So let's go to the top right and click the exit editor. So Teespring now allows us to add our own custom domain to our store. Okay, so if we click the button here, we can search for and buy a new domain name or connect a domain name you already have. But if you are new, you don't need to worry about this yet. Here we can just use the default URL provided. So here we can add links to our social media page. So let's just click the add a social profile button. And you can add a link to your Facebook page, uh, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, or any other social media platform you have. Okay, so just choose the social media platform and enter the link to your page in the text box provided. And then click the add button. Just remember to save your change by clicking the save at the bottom right. So the social links will be shown in all the places we chose when creating our store. Alright, so we finished building our storefront on Teespring, now called Spring. So let's go to the top and click the view store button to see what you have created. Okay, so here is our new storefront. Up here we have uh, menu items in the navigation bar that show different product categories in our store. So if you choose to show your social links in the navigation bar, they will appear here too. So below the navigation bar we have our banner and then the featured products are displayed at the top. So after that we can see all the products we have added to our storefront. So finally, at the very bottom, we have the footer that we set up where your footer description and any social media links uh, you added can be seen. Now, customers can visit your storefront, choose a product and make a purchase. 
So that's just a quick summary of how to set up your storefront on Teespring, now called Spring. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.